Who here remembers this tweet? Yeah, I thought some of us might remember this one. So that's exactly what we're going to talk about in today's video. Well, the first part of the tweet about character showcases. Where are the character showcases? Better yet, why we shouldn't expect character showcases for a little while longer? Because, well, ultimately it makes a lot more sense to save these closer to the game's official launch. So I need to start off with a few facts. Notice the reply that Tony gives in the tweet where he says, we are planning on doing some character showcases. Now again, let that sink in. They're planning on doing some. So we have a confirmation they are going to do character showcases, but they're not going to do it for every single character, which is fine, which is fine. Maybe they only do it for newly announced characters moving from this point forward. I don't know what their plan is, but that's an idea. But uh, another thing to take note of, this was tweeted back out on January 10th of this year. But... He doesn't say when, as in when to expect the character showcases, as in when's the time frame we can expect them to drop. And this was a smart plan on if, if this was, and I believe it was intentional, this was smart for him to leave out when to expect these. So when this was tweeted, remember the first alpha tech test had just wrapped up. Now, as we all know, game development takes time. Well, can't just make a brand new game at the snap of a finger, can you? No, I don't think so. And if you can, it's probably not that great. But things take time, right? So as the development team was learning about the feedback that they got from the first tech test and applying that to the future build of the game, well, that takes time as well to apply new changes, to imply improvements to the game. It, change takes time. I think we all understand that. And we already have a one really really good example of this that Multiverses has already shown us. You guys remember the Steven Universe character model? Yeah, so think about this for a second. When Multiverses was first officially announced, which was back in November, by the way, when we seen the character model for Steven Universe, there was a fan critique, and it was a very pl uh, polite critique, saying that these little things about the character can be changed to make the character look more like the character. And it was a pretty cool thing to do. So that was back in November. And then think about when we finally got this update about the character model change. That was February 28th. That's three months in between originally revealed and the updated product. Three months. Again, change takes time, which is great. So keep this in mind as well. Three months between the time, we now have to apply that same sort of mindset for characters during gameplay. If you want character showcases, well, it better be right the first time. You can't go in to a character showcase and not have the character pretty much picture perfect or dang near perfect to how they're going to be at launch day. You can't just go in with, oh, here's a 50% build of a character. That does not work. So imagine this for a second. Imagine that everything that needs to be perfect, right? Imagine all those, the attacks the animation, the character speed, maybe they show off some taunts, uh, the damage, uh, knockback to attacks. Imagine all that stuff that needs to be perfect again. Well, at least it should be near perfect if they're showing it off in a character showcase before you know they really give the players a true look at the character. Otherwise, if they kind of go in with a 50%, a 75% finished character, you're gonna end up with an unfinished mess and you're gonna have a lot of your consumers, a lot of your player base kind of confused <clears throat> at first, kind of going, wait a minute. Um, that's not how it looked in the character showcase. Why is it different? And a perfect example of this is somewhat relative, uh, somewhat recent, I should say. Take a look at Lincoln Loud from Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl, just as an example. Now, during Ooh. Lincoln Loud's showcase, Ooh. which was about a month before the game released, which is perfect. And I'll get to more, more on that in a second, time frame wise. But remember when they showed off his uh, neutral special, his water gun. Remember how it stunned the opponent originally in that uh, showcase? It was supposed to stun opponents. 
And then almost immediately after that dropped, Thaddeus Cruz, one of the developers on the game for Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl, basically said, wait, no, that's a, that's an old version of the character. That's not how that works. That's not how the water gun works at all. We changed that already. So why did they go ahead and record that only to pretty much immediately change it and go, wait a minute, uh, we probably shouldn't have done that. So the point is you're going to confuse your audience if uh, they only see Link and Loud, for ex- as an example, they go, oh, wait, Link and Loud is going to be my favorite character. And then they go, oh, the water gun's going to stun opponents. Cool. I can't wait to play the game. Then they don't really pay attention to nothing else. The game releases. They pick up Link and Loud. And then the water gun isn't working how they just seen it. They're going to be confused and go, wait a minute. Is the game broken? Is the character broken? What's going on? So the point, again, is you can't rush out character showcases if the characters aren't ready or if there's massive changes that are going to come to the character and their move set and their play speed and all that sort of stuff. Right. So let me stick to Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl here for just a moment. Anybody remember when they did their character showcases? And this is kind of a big point as to why we haven't gotten the showcases for multiverses yet. Remember when they did theirs? It was all roughly one month before that game released. In my opinion, that was the smartest way to do that. Not only are you constantly feeding the player base news with these character showcases, it also continues to build up the hype for the game. And it's just it's constantly in the gaming news cycle, right? It's always around. There's always something new to look forward to. And when they're ready, then, you know, it's, it's better to do it closer to launch because, well, ultimately, if we're seeing it very close to launch, we know what the product is going to be. So that's the that's the smart way Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl handled it. And I hope Multiverses does something very similar. Uh, heck, we could even take Smash Bros with their DLC characters uh, when they did the Sakurai Presents, for example. Sakurai did the Presents and they didn't air until about one or two weeks before the character was going to drop. So they're very, very new. They're very fresh. They're very pretty much finalized as to how we expect the character to show and to play and all that stuff. So in conclusion, we don't want a showcase right now that shows, say, Shaggy, for example, in his alpha phase. We don't want a showcase that shows a very early version of Shaggy and then nine months later have multiverses release and then Shaggy is built completely different. Things like attack speed, his character move speed, uh, attacks in general, say all that changes. And then you go, wait a minute, that's not what I seen in the showcase. So you want you want it to be you want the showcase to actually mean something and not just a quick little. All right, here's here's a quick news article. Here's something just to keep the fans uh, happy. No, showcases shouldn't be rushed out for the sake of having something new to talk about. In fact, they should only be shown once things for the game's initial release is approaching. That way, again, they're more finalized or they should be finalized and they continue help to help build up the hype cycle, the excitement, the buzz around the game and just the overall attention that multiverses will end up accumulating over time.